Hello and welcome to the regular expression tutorial and in the last episode we have done with these lookups but now it's time to have some anchor. So what is anchor? Anchor is just going to give you the ability to uh, search and to define the search or to define the pattern searching from starting or from end. So how it's going to look? So you can see we have these kind of structures dot com at the last. But you know, if you are a developer for uh, any kind of mobile application, that will be like com dot uh, website some website dot then your name. So this kind of reverse expression they uh, they are following. So how we can match this? So if I say I want to match I want to match only com so it also matches and it also matches in the start so now the problem comes I just want to include the com at the last of the line so now we have a dollar sign which is just going to say okay match this thing at the last of the uh, last of the line so it's not going to work because now we need to enable a new flag which is called multiline. So if I say multiline is enabled, yes, it is matched with various things. And now if we want to search for the com and the, at the starting of any uh, line, then we need to say not dollar and in the starting, we need to say caret. And here we have the result which is this com is only selected and full matched with the com. So if I say com here also, and like this so this is also going to select and this is simply the starting so what it says this caret assert position at the start of the line and if we use the dollar and yes we need to say at the end of the line position has to be at the end of the line but you will see sir the caret is for the negation i don't want anything so after this if i don't want dot then i will put that dot inside the character set and i will use the caret sign which negate it so i don't want to have the dot after the com so if i remove dot and make comma yes you can see that particular thing is selected but not this one and this is because we have used the caret so this caret if used inside the uh, character set then it will work as a, a negative or negations but if it is used anywhere else it's just going to say okay i am going to search that particular thing at the starting of the line so this is very useful but this these things are only going to work if you have the m flag the multi-line flag uh, enabled but you know if i say this thing that if i say dollar it's not going to work because now we have another thing which is called backslash b it says boundary of the line so search that particular thing on the boundary of the line boundary can be starting can be end so now we have all these things in the starting and in the end so this is as usual b small b for that particular thing but opposite of this is a capital B. So I want to include com not on the boundaries. So if I say com here, just after this, you can see it is selected anywhere else. If we have the com that is selected, but that com does not has to be at the end or at the beginning. So this is for the boundaries and these are for the starting and for the end so now we have this so this means this statement say that i just want to have the com in a single line and obviously that has to be multi flag on then it is going to work if we don't have the multi flag multi line flag on so let's see the result it's not going to match anywhere so this is the problem with this dollar and caret so simply we can add the m flag that's not a problem in a real life you just need to say slash uh, whatever it is so this is the your regular expression like this so you will write like this and you will say g flag then m i flag then m flag so in this way you can uh, write in a real life but that's given in as a flag 
thing here so that's not a problem so i think you got the idea of the anchors and how these are going to work so if you are not following me just go and subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to get instant notification like bit fumes on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye